This is Mathematics for Social Justice by Mark Roth, and today's video is a story about how I made a discovery about the harmonic mean. To start with, I was working with a teacher assistant named Jean Canavy. We were working on a worksheet where we have a timeline, and on the left it's 8.18 a.m., and on the right it's 5.36 p.m., and the student had to compute the time in the middle. And we're not going to talk about the complications of changing this to military time and worrying about odds and evens. Instead, what we'll just do is talk about the formula. So I taught the students this formula. Okay. Now, on this other problem, we have, have two intermediate times equally spaced. So, like if this is A and this is B, A plus B over 2. Now, if this is A and this is B, I was using a different formula. I was going um, B minus A over 3 added to A. And here I was going A plus B minus A over 3 times 2. Now Mrs. Canavy didn't like it because she thought Okay, if you're going to do this, then this formula isn't good. Uh, she thought it was confusing to the students. Instead, I should change this to A plus B minus A over 2. And she thought this would be more consistent with, with this. And she, so she didn't like me. I'll go back to this one now. She thought that um, this formula was not, was not very consistent with this formula. So that got me thinking, well, is there a way, a different way to do this that's similar to this? And eventually I thought about the, the weighted average. And so the weighted average would be like, this could be two A's plus B over three. And this could be A plus two B over three. Now, this was a stroke of luck for me because if Mrs. Canavy hadn't objected, then I might not have thought about this at all. Now, the question is, what does this have to do with the harmonic mean? Well, the formula for harmonic mean is 2AB over A plus B. And if you look at this carefully, it looks like it's AB plus BA divided by a plus b, which is actually similar to this. It's a weighted average. So let's look at 3 and 4. So this is equal to 3 4s plus 4 3s divided by 3 plus 4. This would be a formula for finding the harmonic mean of 3 and 4. Another way to write it would, would be like this. You have three, 4 3s. plus three fours over seven. So this would be the harmonic mean of three and four. Let's do the harmonic mean of two and three. We would have three twos plus two threes over five. And that would be the harmonic mean of two and three. But you can see that this would be to the left of 2 plus 3 divided by 2. So this, this would be a bigger number than this because we're here, here we have more of the smaller number. Now I thought, well, this is interesting because um, I haven't really seen this in books and articles about the harmonic mean. I was surprised by this. I said, how come I haven't been seeing this other places? And uh, I still haven't been seeing this other places, mostly if you want to see this, you go to my own videos. I don't see, I don't know this appears much in books or articles. So anyway, the story is basically, thanks to Gene Canavy, uh, I ended up learning about this, which uh, I never saw in books. So that's the story of my little harmonic mean discovery. Okay, so as a consequence of this discovery, we can find... the the harmonic mean on the number line. So suppose we have this is 2 and this is 6. 
where would the harmonic mean be? All you do is you separate this into two plus six spaces, so eight spaces. So now we have halves, and now we have fourths, and now we have eights. And then the harmonic mean would be two spaces to the right of the two. That would be the harmonic mean. And the arithmetic mean would be in the middle, so that would be M. And so, in this case, um, this would be 4, and this would be 3, and we want MH to be equal to AB. And that's true because MH is 3 times 4, and this is 2 times 6. As I said, as a consequence, we can locate the harmonic mean easily on the number line.